morning, folks. I've uh, looked at this uh, Roman Do de Cateron mystery uh, a little bit, and I've watched a video on YouTube uh, regarding uh, this object, and uh, I saw one uh, solution. It said it was used to, to make gloves uh, for the knit gloves, and I strongly disagree with that. I mean, it was a good video, but uh, I disagree with that solution based on what I uh, found out about it, and I have researched it a little bit, and I sincerely believe that I've solved the, the mystery. And uh, why they were used and why they were discontinued. Uh, the clues to the solution of the mystery are basically in the history books and artifacts, where the artifacts have been found and other details about them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on through this and uh, talk about it a little bit more. Here's a picture of uh, one of these uh, artifacts and basically each side as a whole as you can see uh, these little pegs here are uh, in my opinion for to stand uh, the object on uh, if you have a, an object like this and you don't have these little legs on it then the object would tend to rock when you set it on the table. These little legs prevent that rocking from taking place. Um, these holes, uh, as you can see, they're, they're all different sizes, or they appear to be different sizes. Some of them may in fact be the same. Uh, here's a picture of one where the holes have not been uh, cut out. Uh, there were various different types of, of these things made. If you notice, uh, there are like little circles uh, around some of these holes here. So uh, this is another one. You notice also the, the, the little pegs on each corner there uh, are on this one also. If you take a look at the internet, uh, you'll find that there are lots and lots and lots of different pictures of these things. Uh, there were probably a hundred or a couple of hundred of these, these objects that were found in various places throughout Europe. And uh, they were found in France and Germany and Wales and <clears throat> other places that the Roman uh, Empire had uh, gone into those lands and captured. Uh, so I'm going to go on down through this. Uh, this is a definition. It's a geometric object with 12 faces. Uh, it's uh, the Roman uh, cut on is a small object. It's usually bronze between 4 centimeters and 11 centimeters in size. 12 equally sized faces and holes in the middle of each side that surround the hollow middle. Uh, approximately 100 of them have been found. And they've been found in Wales, Italy, Germany, France, and other countries. Uh, a test showed them dating between 100 to 200. Uh, Christian era. So that was a time after Rome had conquered uh, France and what had gone into England and Wales and uh, they were all throughout the, uh, the European uh, area. So anyway, that's uh, some clues about those They've been found in places known to be populated by the ancient Romans. Uh, 
there's no existing documents that mention uh, these objects. Uh, one possible clue is the presence of candle wax found in the interior of one of the uh, de Uh The thing about it is, is the candle wax, uh, the explanation of that is that uh, wax is used when you make a copy of an object. It's part of the, the uh, process in which these objects were made. You make a mold, uh, a clay mold, and uh, you, you use wax in the making of this mold. And then you can pour uh, the hot uh, molten, uh, or you can melt the wax out, and that enables you to make uh, a good mold of the thing so you can use um, liquid metal to go ahead and, and, and make a copy of the object. Uh, so that's the reason why candle wax was found in the interior of one of, the, one of these objects is the object was uh, <coughs> used to make a mold for uh, another one of these things and uh, the candle wax was not all completely melted out. And the way you melt it out, of course, is to get the object caught and it will, uh, the wax will completely melt out of there. As a matter of fact, if some of the others were, were checked, you'd probably find there's residues of wax on, on the insides of quite a, quite a number of them. As a matter of fact, uh, if you take a look at uh, <clears throat> objects where there's been two or more of the same model, uh, and I'm sure that's present uh, because there's over a hundred of these things that have been found, uh, you would find that uh, indeed there was candle wax present in, in quite, a, quite a number of them, although it would perhaps be in a small, minuscule amount due to the fact they were uh, cleaned uh, to get all that wax out of there. Now, some of these objects were found in near the stockpiles of corn, coins, and that's significant. You notice it says some, so it was more than, than one that was found <coughs> near a stockpile of corn, coins. So, here are some previous suggestions. Uh, one is that it may be related to the 12 signs of the zodiac. Uh, I don't believe that there's any, any truth in that. And some scholars have suggested that uh, they were used as candle holders or perhaps in some sort of uh, religious or sacred rituals. Uh, I don't see that. There's nothing that have come down uh, in the Christian community suggesting that that is in actuality the case. Um, there's also a uh, a YouTube video, like I said, that it was a glove maker. And some people have said that the Roman builders used him for scientific purposes. I don't believe that. And there's other theories also. Historical data. Uh, these objects were found basically during this time period here. Rome invaded France in 57 BC. Rome invaded Germany in 52 BC. These objects were found go back up and take a look before they were found or dated to uh, uh, 100 to 200 uh, Christian era. So that was some time after Rome invaded France and Germany and also, of course, Wales and England. Uh, the Romulus was the last uh, Roman emperor in the West. Uh, and it was overthrown by a Germanic leader. Uh, so these things were in use uh, 100 to 200 uh, Christian era. Uh, so uh, uh, thereafter, uh, they were probably used from 100 to 300 or 400 Christian era. <coughs> and then, of course, uh, Rome was overthrown and uh, the Roman Empire fell. So, if we go on, uh, my solution to the 
mystery is they were used by merchants to assess coin values because uh, Rome had gone into France and Rome had gone into to Germany, Rome had gone into Wales. There, were, there was lots of foreign coinage and the merchants, the Roman merchants, needed some way to assess the value of those coins, be they silver or gold. So they used these uh, little objects to assess their value. Also, it was used to combat forgeries um, of coinage, and forgeries of coins has always been a problem as long as coins have been minted. If a coin could pass through one of the little holes, then it was valid. If it couldn't pass through one of the holes, then uh, certainly it would not be valid. Also, they could uh, tell the difference between a, a a silver coin minted in France and a silver coin minted in Rome. They could base its value based upon the size as they could tell from these objects. Um, so that was a way for the merchants to assess coin values, not only for the merchants, but also for the people who, uh, uh, the church folks and other folks who, and uh, the uh, <coughs> Roman uh, people who collected taxes, they could assess the value of the coins using these these objects. So the easy confirmation of the solution is possible by exactly measuring the old coin diameters and measuring the whole diameters in the uh, Doty Catalan uh, found. So anyway, uh, that is my solution uh, to the mystery and I think it's a valid solution. And I hope you folks enjoyed the, the video, and if you did, uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel. I'll be doing more such videos, and I do videos on a lot of other things. So thanks a lot, and you folks have a nice day.